Mr. Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters, and honor guests. Imagine if you had to stand up now and take my spot and teach us something valuable. What would you talk about? When I was asked to speak at this conference, my first reaction was, but I'm not an expert. And then I dug deeper and I realized that there is something I recently figured out that became life-changing for me and my family. I figured out how to work less and enjoy life more. And I have to share it with you guys today because I think all of us can benefit from working a little less and enjoying life a little more. Here, oops. I don't think it's working. Okay, yeah. Aww. Meet my family. This is my husband, Aaron. I mean, me, my husband, Aaron. And um, our baby girl, Sonia. And Uncle Billy, the orangutan. <laughs> <laughs> this picture was taken um, on the morning of uh, Sonia's first birthday. And this was our great idea of taking Sonia to breakfast with orangutans to make her birthday morning something special. As you can probably tell, she wasn't thrilled about this. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by her reaction, she probably thought that she was going to be Uncle Billy's breakfast. <laughs> Luckily, we recovered from this. And Sonia enjoyed the rest of her birthday with the cake and the giant flamingo pool party. Sonia turned one during our three months long trip around Southeast Asia. Um, and that was an amazing trip. We got to hang out with elephants, tigers, and other entrepreneurs. We enjoyed the luxury of Singapore and the polite hospitality of busy Tokyo. We scootered around <laughs> monkey filled jungles temples and beautiful beaches of Bali. <laughs> we even managed to learn how to surf and got our scuba diving certifications. We were constantly busy doing something fun and exciting, leaving me with no, next to no time for work. And I was okay with that. <laughs> um, because a year before I figured out how to set up my business in a way that allowed me to unplug for few weeks at a time. So that happened in 2018, but I started my first store in 2014. Why did it take me so long? I always knew that um, outsourcing my business operations was something I needed to do, and I was generating enough revenue to be able to afford it. I went to many business conferences and read all the smart books that told me that I needed to work on my business and not in my business. However, I, were, I was reluctant to do it, and I kept pushing this important project to the bottom of my to-do list. Luckily, oh, <laughs> so why did I do this? Procrastination, right? We all face it. And I think there's two reasons why I procrastinated. The first, and I think a lot of us can relate to this, like many business owners, I thought that I was the only one who can run my business, and I cannot trust anybody else to do it because they'll screw it up. And the second reason, I just didn't know where to start. The task seemed so daunting and overwhelming, and I was already working 50 hours a week, trying to manage my customer service, process orders. I didn't have the th time to think about it. So, I didn't. Luckily, life gave me a push that made me overcome both of these excuses. In September of 2017, I found out that I was two months pregnant. It was exciting news, but both my husband and I were freaking out. <laughs> so many questions in our heads. We were thinking, did this mean that our lives were over? Do we have to move into a bigger house, buy a minivan? <laughs> Are we going to have to change poopy diapers? And among many other questions was this one. Who is going to run my business while I'm busy? having a baby and learning how to be a mom. So I realized that that question at the bottom of my to-do list just became a priority and I got it done. But letting go of control was hard. So life gave me another push. And um, the baby arrived two weeks early. Luckily on Friday, I finished training Jeannie, who is my customer service um, girl and the order management girl. And on the Monday, I sent her this message. 
Hey Jeannie, congratulations, your training is over. And by the way, I'm having a baby today, so you're on your own for the next two weeks. Message me here if you need anything. Good luck. And just like that, I give up control of two of the most expensive, or important and expensive, if you screw it up, areas of my business, customer service and order management, entrusting them both to Jeannie from the Philippines, whom I met on the internet. I'm so glad I did this because apparently, when you are a first time parent, all your mental energy goes towards figuring out how to keep this baby alive. <laughs> and you are a zombie for the rest of the time because you wake up every three hours at night. There is no way I would have been able to work like 20 hours a week, let alone 50 like I used to. Creating a system and letting Jeannie run it saved my sanity and my business during this first few months of motherhood. And now, all this free time that I created for myself allows me to actually work on my business and grow it. Plus, I get to enjoy, enjoy the many exciting adventures our little family frequently embarks on. So, if you are still running your customer service and processing your orders, you need to start building your system now so that you too can work less and enjoy life more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.